the ideals of Anna, the Dravidian policy, and sir, we are second to none in upholding the sovereignty of this country, sir. When Chinese aggression came, we gave up our policy, the individual Dravidanad. And when the Bangladesh war came, our then Chief Minister, Dr. Kalingar, gave 6 crore rupees, the first ever in the state. Shri now, the S. Nirendra. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Who oh, here and there. Sir, called as a special session, sir. We are still not aware of the business to be transacted in the remaining four days. A shock or surprise may be awaited. We will have a business advisory committee. Sir? And we will have a business advisory committee sir? tomorrow and you will be enlightened. As of now, and I'm for tomorrow you know everything. <laughs> okay, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> As of now, I am telling. Uh, so, a shock or surprise or nothing is awaiting and we are also awaiting. Sir, uh, we have completed 75 glorious years of independence and 72 successful years of journey of the parliament. Sir, this milestone makes it important to recall the hopes, the ideals we have cherished, we have accomplished in this parliament, fulfilling those visions of the people who fought for freedom and those who drafted the constitution. Sir, at the outset, I would like to pay my tributes to those who laid down their lives for our freedom, the independence which we are enjoying. Starting from Puli Thevan, Veerabandiya Kattapuman, Marudu Brothers, Vel Nachyar, Kuyili, and Tilakar, Gokhale, Mahatma Gandhi, Nehru, Sadar Patel, VOC, and unsung heroes and unsung heroines, which is very, very important, sir. Sir, I think this is the right time to tell that. In a freedom struggle in Tamil Nadu, <coughs> many women participated with involvement. One lady participated with a one-year child in her hand. And when the police attempted to disperse the crowd, they opened fire. And when the crowd dispersed, she fell in a place. The flag which she was holding was in another place. The child fell in another place. And the bullet that was fired hit the infant and the child died, sir. We are a child who knows nothing, sacrificed his life. And that mother of the child named Kali Mal, she didn't hesitate. She again took the flag and marched. So, so many unsung heroines or unsung heroes who have to be recollected at this very proud moment. So, democracy is a popular sovereignty. The concept of this popular sovereignty is attaining its completion by way of the functioning of the parliament. Sir, uh, in post the first Indian general election in 1952, the Manchester Guardian commented, parliamentary institutions have not had a very good time in Asia. All that is happening in Asia throws a spotlight on the parliament in Delhi as the one institution of the kind which is working in an exemplary way. Sir, so there are two salient features which uh, has brought India to as a focus, as a largest democracy. One is our constitution and another is the parliament. Sir, so Thomas Jefferson, the architect of America, once said that no constitution will survive the test of time more than 20 years. But ours is very vibrant even after 72 years because of the amending provisions. We have changed to time. And ours is the, not only the longest, and it has been the, one, uh, discussed uh, uh, with a very long period of nearly three years. Sir, democracy, when it came into existence, some people say Greece, some people say somewhere else, but we are the predecessors, we are the foreigners in everything. For example, in Tamil Nadu, in Tamil Nadu, sir, early Chola period, that was in 2nd, 3rd century, some excavations near Chennai, Uttarameru, brought out the fact that there was a Kudavoli system, that is a, a Yarsan part, in which people will write on the palm leaves their choice of candidate and would deposit in that, and a child would pick up and that person will be the serpent of that area. So this democracy has been in India for more than 2,000 years, that too from the southern end, sir. Sir, coming to the parliament. Sir, uh, sentiments are not attached only to humans, of course, to buildings too. 
I can recollect many things. And even if you move to a rich-looking uh, uh, new parliament, sir, I think you or I, many of us, would visit this parliament and especially the central hall. How can we forget that, sir? How many things have happened which is in history? Sir, the foundation stone for this parliament was laid in February 1921 by Duke of Connaught. And it was inaugurated by uh, uh, Viceroy Irwin in 1927. Six years it took place. Sir, uh, we should be very happy to note that the buildings were designed by Sir Herbert Basker along with Edwin Lewin, architects of the new imperial capital. That is not the issue, sir. What I would like to highlight here is the sandstone columns in our parliament is a state of the art. And it is said that 2,500 stone cutters have been employed to design the uh, uh, top of the uh, parliament and almost it took so many years. 2,500 stone cutters and masons were employed to shape the marble there. And the central hall, sir, originally it was designated to be a library. Sir, you know very well everything. And later the Constituent Assembly sat there for four years from 46 to 50. And after that, sir, it's a surprise that Supreme Court had its sittings here in the central hall. Till it migrated to 1958 in the present building. And this central hall has witnessed a lot. Sir, I can hear two sounds. In June 1929, the record, the blast of bomb, which was thrown by the revolutionary Bhagat Singh and H.K. Bhatt to attain freedom. And thereafter, in 2001, there was a terrorist attack in the parliament, which was to foil, foil our freedom and a challenge to democracy. But this parliament withstood that, sir, thanks to the design and construction of this, as well as the security guards who were very much awake and uh, uh, acted to the situation. Sir, this circular shape of this parliament is a reminiscence of the Rome Colosseum, they say. So, see, I have been here for more than two decades, sir. I have been once in Lok Sabha and the fourth term here, sir. Uh, no other place in the world I love than this parliament premises. For many reasons. For many reasons. Sir, uh, we have been uh, contributing our, uh, our service through this parliament, we voice out the people's uh, aspirations, we fulfill their expectations, we redress their grievances by urging the government to understand and act. So this is it. This is the setup of a parliament. We make the government accountable. And this way we have worked a lot and have contributed and we are setting a trend to the whole world, sir. And this central hall has seen so many Again, sir, you know very well, it starts from Richard Nixon, then Eisenhower, then uh, uh, Anita Gurshev, sir. Many have come. Uh, Gurshev, sir, Margaret Thatcher, Barack Obama, along with our presidents have addressed the joint sessions of parliament after the uh, general election and before the commencement of every year. And people like you, sir, as vice presidents, what all they have done? Sir, all these are reminiscences. So what's your point, sir? Coming, sir, I'm pricing about sentiment. this meeting. We are attaching our sentiment. When we are it's celebrating 75 right, years of independence, sir, we, we, I have to exalt the building, sir, the parliament. It's not just a building, sir. How many laws? See, in the first two terms of this parliament, 1952 and 57, it's only 700 laws have been enacted in this parliament. 700 laws. And moreover, in those first 15 years, till 67, the legacy of the freedom struggle continued by Congress and as well as opposition parties were there. Who were all there? Communists, the socialists, as well as the culturally conservative gens. Sir, you are getting sentimental beyond sentiment. Sir, yes. what a socially you, liberal on. party. And sir, after the DMK entered into the parliament, the doors were open for the regional parties. In a federal setup, the regional parties should have a very important place and it cannot be dispensed of was established only after DMK came here. Our first, our founder leader, Anna, how his voice echoed in this uh, August, uh, upper house, sir, it is still in the annals of history. 
Sir, I would, uh, sir, I also visualize, who all have been here? Pandit Nehru, Dr. Ambedkar, Lal Bhagadur Shastri, uh, Kripalani, Madhu Dandavade, uh, Vajpayee Ji, Adwani Ji, Ramana Urlogia, and our beloved Anna, until Morasali Maran, sir, you were a colleague when you were in the Ministry of VP Singh, sir. His performance in Doha conference is still a history. Sir, coming to all these points, sir, sir, I think I have some time, sir. No, sir. No, what I am doing is that the main opposition party, their entire time had been taken by the Honorable LOP. But I would still accommodate some of them, given their huge experience. That being the situation, I am rationally, uniformly curtailing time, more of the ruling party, but of others also. So please cooperate with me. Sir, I could hear, though I was not there, the Trist with Destiny speech of Pandit Nehru. Hmm? The Trist with Destiny, the speech delivered by Pandit Nehru. At the stroke of the midnight hour, sir. No, what I said was that we had a tryst with destiny. Sir? We had a tryst with destiny. Tryst uh -huh. with destiny. In yeah. 15th August to 1947. Yes, sir. Long years Again, ago, the parliament we had a met here at midnight, rolling out a GST regime. When so the whole saying, world sleeps, India after a gap of 70 will years. awake to life and freedom, sir. He started his speech. Sir, I, I had the privilege of being here during the Golden Jubilee of the independence, sir. And in the central hall, we heard the speeches of uh, Mahatma Gandhi and Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose. And uh, the, the, that's a very green memory. So also these speeches, sir. And uh, after the speech of uh, Pandit Nehru, very important here is to we have to recollect this uh, mentioning of uh, Dr. Ambedkar, the architect of our constitution. Because this is the right time when we are speaking about constitution, we have to preserve also. So I have to quote only two things, one of Ambedkar's and another of Anna. <coughs> uh, however, a constitution may be, quote Dr. Ambedkar, however good a constitution may be, if those who are implementing it are not good, it will prove to be bad. Okay, sir. However bad a constitution may be, if those implementing it are good, it will prove to be good. If those who are called to work it happen to be a good lot. The constitution can provide only the organs of state such as legislature, executive and judiciary. The factors on which the working of those organs of the state depends are the people and the political parties they will set up as their instruments to carry out their wishes and their politics. That is climax, the matter. climax is, sir, if I find the constitution misused, I shall be the first to burn it. I will be the first to burn it, sir. It was said by none other than uh, Dr. Ambedkar, sir. So also, uh, during uh, his last speech in the Constituent Assembly, he uh, congratulated everyone, uh, those who supported and those who dissented. The proceedings of this Constituent Assembly would have been very dull if all members had yielded to the rule of party discipline. Party discipline in all its rigidity would have converted this assembly into a gathering of yes men. So he says that, he goes on to thank all those who dissented also. It has a relevance, sir. sir. Huh? It has oh, a relevance. Yeah. I can say, Everything has a relevance, second, sir. All I can say, Dr. Ambedkar had been very prophetic. Very? It's, it's very, prophetic. very yes, prophetic. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I wish That's why the I people quote, sitting in this house would be in a position to take a call while being here. That's something which has eluded us. Two things I, I quoted very much, sir, here. However, a constitution may be good. If those who are implementing it are not good, it won't prove to be bad, number one. And second, he has said, if it is misused, yes. he will be number one to Thank burn. Thank you. Sir, and our, our late leader, Anna, very important, sir, he entered into this yes. parliament and said, I, I am from the Dravidian stock. Uh, something distinct and different to offer to the nation at large. He started, and very important, he spoke during the Official Languages uh, Amendment Act, sir. Uh, sorry. Please conclude. Sir, sir. sir. Yeah. If it is uniformity, quote, Anna spoke. If it is uniformity that you are going to aim at, 
you are not going to achieve it come what may this country consists of different ethnic elements different cultural elements and different linguistic groups it is only unity within this diversity that we should arrive at and not by destroying the fine niceties of this diversity mistaking uniformity for unity may I ask members of this house and the prime minister whether language alone is a cementing force needed for the unity of this country there are regional imbalances there are regional leanings there are linguistic leanings all these things have got to be bridged if you want to have a sort of unity without uniformity for this country uncourt sir thank you uncourt sir sir this parliament has experienced very well it has flourished all the diversities sir uh, our social regional linguistic ethnic religion everything but that has to be maintained that is our foremost wish sir sir many things have to be observed i don't know sir why you are arranging Siri, up when you have been liberal with yes. everyone sir sir even your time is over yeah sir 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 yes uh, give me give me two more minutes let me let me let me conclude sir let me conclude sir sir uh, everyone is optimistic that when we move to the new parliament it's a new building but our convention will be the same our functioning will be the same we will be upholding democracy as the constitution which our is is our guiding uh, light and guardian and it is the responsibility and duty of everyone sir the parliament understands and establishes whoever is in the opposition will be the ruling party next time so this is of course democracy the parliament understands it has been repeated sir i would like to say only one thing sir in the recent days the space for the opposition is shrinking there has been a decline in the ability of the parliament to hold the government accountable with fewer days of working scrutiny of legislative proposals is weakening expansive executive control over the legislative process persists they got frequent Thank government you. resorts to ordinances than legislation sir this is only our concern no, sir no, at no, least no, we no, have no, to be free you, are, you, you are are, sir you you sir you know very well oh, journey. you, you are right yes sir but when i look within yes sir i find lost opportunities enough opportunity was available why that was not availed we have to be very rational committed it is good to speak these things yes sir good to talk of sublimity but i keep a diary and mind you i am in pain sir i have been i did everything in spite of perception whatever be around sir i mean to make to available platform you, sir. to have sir, people there. there let you us hope let us hope pray yes. and wish that we will avail every opportunity yes sir to make a contribution That's great, sir. We, in this great theater sir we repose our confidence without disturbance without disruption siri yes niranjan ready one word, sir one, one, one last sentence one last sentence sir the ideals of anna the dravidian policy and sir we are second to none in upholding the sovereignty of this country sir when chinese aggression came we gave up our policy the individual dravidian nadu and when the bangladesh war came our then chief minister dr kalingar gave 6 crore rupees the first ever in the state shri s niranjan reddy 5 minutes go ahead and we will thank you